see uh, artifacts at an airport. That's a first. So this is your first look at the Tulum Airport. And here we go. Flying to Tulum International Airport. For those who haven't heard of Tulum yet, it's situated two hours south in the Mexican Caribbean. This little town is still small and growing, but this new airport will now be redirecting flights over there instead of the popular Cancun, a large international size airport which I got lucky to get property right next door. Maybe not so lucky because of the noise factor, but definitely a great investment, as well as the Maya train that is being built, a train system in the peninsula that will connect with the airport and surrounding region. So welcome to Tulum. At the Tulum airport. We are literally the only plane here. No other plane in sight. It's a huge landing strip. They are definitely going to be international. So, so yeah, look at the size of that. There's the Raider plane that we were just on. And yeah, this thing is humongous. Goes way out there. So yeah, definitely going to be international, but they are just starting this off. I am definitely one of the first to be arriving here for decades to come. So first sightings, entranceway. Gonna go to the bathroom. Looks similar to uh, Can Cancun. Everything looks real nice and brand new. Check that out. A few moments later. Got these high tech uh, hand dryers. So, this is your first look at the Tulum Airport. Real fancy. Got the big screen here. Showing us Tulum downtown, and this is the whole entrance way here. Really Tulum style, which is using a lot of nature and wood, and so a nice marble floor. Got the Tulum style outfits. Yeah, so. Place looks cool, looks nice. It better be for all the money that they uh, invested in, but I can see there's still a lot more to go. It was kind of a rush uh, for them to open this up on schedule time, which was December 1st, 2023. This is late December. And we are towards the end. So here's the bag pickup with another big screen back there. 
got some pottery work here. First time I see uh, artifacts at an airport. That's a first. And so here goes the emblem for Tulum with this state, Quintana Roo, right here in the middle. And these are all the other cities or towns that are in uh, what you can call the county. You got a uh, Isla Mujeres, which is an island, Tulum up there, Cosimo, which is another island, Bacalar, about three hours south of here, near the capital of Chetumal that I don't see on here. This looks giant seashell, look at that. So there goes the big screen for the flights that came in. I just came in from Mexico City. So we're just waiting on the bags now. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? So let's get it. We got our bags, or my bag, which is a huge suitcase. Huge suitcase jam pack because after this I am heading down to Brazil after New Year's. So let's check out what our options are. So I see the ADO option here, which I know will be cheaper than taxis. Airport is large. It's a bit empty. My friend was supposed to come pick me up, but his car uh, failed on him. So we're going to see what the ADO options are here. The uh, second floor up there, elevators, a bunch of car rental stands over here. So, we got an ADO ticket, which is the cheapest option 175 pesos. Uh, the airport's so new, I don't think uh, taxis are even out here yet. There is all these rental car services. Here goes a little food market stand, if you want to call that. Everything's pretty nice and decked out. But like I mentioned earlier, they are still uh, building this up. I did see the ADO pull up right now, somewhere. El ADO para acá, gracias. So here we go, we're outside. Weather's not too bad, it's not too humid. I'm actually wearing a sweater. I thought I would have had it off by now. Here's the outside of the airport. Got some big stones there. You got the, the Mayan Aztec type design going on up there. And so yeah, the place is huge. I see a statue all the way down there. Not sure of what. Looks like a man with two kids. So, wait for uh, the stadium. Oh. oh, there. I, uh, so, there's the ADO right there on time, 3 30. Get me down to Tulum Central because we are outside Tulum Town. And from the center, I'll grab a taxi down to my place. So I will meet you there. And we are off. So as you 
guys can see the facility the airport here is pretty large it's pretty huge um, I mean there's no doubt it is huge and uh, but as you leave the airport here uh, it is a long road back and you can still see there's lots of construction uh, still going on so but this is the only the beginning so within the years to come um, it's definitely everything you're seeing is gonna be uh, have infrastructure and I'm sure it's most likely gonna have uh, a lot of new um, places like you see here this is a, a gas station so I'm sure we'll be seeing um, a lot more commercial areas on this road out um, to Tulum downtown so check it out you guys we are back and I am in the Airbnb now cool little Airbnb spot you got a balcony here uh, well I'll check that out later but this place is large. Look at that little living room here. You got your little work area here with the TV. The kitchen uh, dining table. I already went and got something to eat. The actual kitchen, which looks like uh, it has what's needed. Stove. Told me water's here. Yeah. And now this is a large size bathroom. Check that out. Whoa. Oh, with the closet in here. And another storage up there. Shower. Definitely taking a shower. Just got here. And yeah, this is a. Uh, this is a uh, awesome. Good price check that out and yeah this is a airbnb here in Tulum during high season so we're gonna get it going folks these days gotta keep my phone on airplane mode downtown diamond district jewelers like yo